Hey guys, what's happening? So, welcome to part three of the Orca Supercube build. Um, all right, so I'm finished with the extruder system. I've already printed it out. Uh, after this part, we'll, I'll go out there and show it to you. Um, but here it is. All right, take a look. Air ducts. I have the Biku or Big Tree Tech micro probe in there. Um, a little blower fan here in the back. I might or might not make a cover back here, just to make it look a little bit more aesthetic. Um, and here is a uh, 40 millimeter fan. I mean, I, I could probably get away with a 30, but um, you know, uh, you have to be. It has to be really when you're a 30 millimeter fan. It has to be like perfect, or you'll get uh, heat creep, heat creep uh, issues. Uh, all right, let me show you. Uh, so you can see what's in here. So. Um, my actually my Honda's a little bit different. I think I have a it's I bought it a while back off of Amazon. It's like a it looks like a Fatus Dragon. Um, all right, that's two forty ten fans. You can see it in there. Bodies. Um, you know you can see basically what's going on with this thing. Oh yeah, then I have wire, wire management over here, and uh, so right now everything works on it. Um, there we go. Awesome. So you can see the V6 in there. And kind of like with my original Orca design, that, that little small eye I made a, a few years back, um, I wanted something that was quick to pull out. So in case you get a jam in this thing right here, um, or, uh, you could quickly get out of it fast. You know, four screws and this whole front comes out and you can pop the extruder out. So right now you can't see the extruder right here. It's an HX light. This this was designed for HX light, that all of them. Extruder, I made a video about it earlier. Um, but yeah, four screws and this whole cover pops off. And you can pull this out, the whole thing out to get jams out, whatever you know. Unscrew it, unclog it. Um, yeah, kind of a pretty tight here to make air, you know, keep the air going through here, the side channels. Airflow goes obviously through here, comes out here, belts come here. On oh, everything too, when I um, so if you ever need to make belt, uh, you can actually get through here by just pulling the fan out, or you can just like say, go over here, um, and you can reach the actual belt tension screws here. Um, there's actually like little belt tensioners that held them with an M3 nut, um, so you can just pull on it, you know, and just like loosen this screw right here, and then pull the belts out that way. Um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, I have an EBB, uh, it's a NEMA 14 round motor, and then I have a uh, Big Tree Tech, um, one of those EBB36s. We did a video about that, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, and then I added end stop. So originally my, my design was going to be for uh, centralized humming, but the problem with central humming is I think when you start getting a certain speed, you know, you could throw false positives and stuff. Plus you have more belt tension. It's, you know, it's, it's more difficult to move stuff. So um, I just don't want to have to deal with like that whole trying to dial in the, what's it called? So it's easier just to put an end stopper here. And then a couple other things I've designed here. Uh, that was a camera mount, my logic camera mount. Uh, and then this is a wire management. But you'll see all that when I go out to the out to the garage, and I'll show it to you right now. So that basically the extruder or the the umbilical comes through here. That's for PTFE tube, and that's for the, the umbilical, or like the wire. So I have, I have a USB and power going through here. All right. So um, all right, we go out to the garage, and I'll show it to you in uh, in reality, in real in real life. All right. So here is the extruder system in reality. So that's the HGX light extruder. I guess it's a, I mean, two trees, I guess. I'm not sure who puts it out, but I mean, the one on AliExpress doesn't say two trees. Um, but I've been seeing it was referred to two trees. All right. So everything works. The XY movement works. Um, so I'm still finishing up the, uh, the bottom here, build plate, but I just want to show you that's the extruder system. Um, and that's the EVB 36. I'm still messing with the what's it called the, the wiring on the um, the BL Touch pin out. It's different, so you could fire that uh, BL Touch, or I'm actually running that not BL Touch, but the I'm running the micro touch right there. 
the uh, what's it called the uh, Big Tree Tech uh, Micro. Yeah, I was like I said, I had an option to either do the the uh, the uh, BL Touch set type setup, the probe, or the uh, like a clicky probe. But I like because it was so small and tiny. I was like, you know, I didn't want to deal with all the extra drama of trying to unload a, unload a uh, a clicky probe. So um, yeah, here it's a rear cover. I don't have it on there because I'm still doing the pin out for the probe, but. That's the rear cover. It's really just aesthetic. It doesn't do anything. It just so you don't have to see the PCB and maybe block something from hitting it. You know, I have two uh, heat sinks on there. Um, so this is part three, obviously. So originally I thought part three would be the actual uh, the what's it called the uh, Z axis, the bed. But I said I wanted to finish up the the tool head here. Here's a close look at it. So that is, uh, I forgot the name of this thing. I bought this on Amazon a while back. It's basically like an e, uh, V6 hot end, but then it has like a different, um, it's sort of like a cross between like a, like a mosquito and a, and a V6. I don't know, it's, I guess it's sort of like a, like a fetus or what's it called, fetus? Dragon, I think. Um, so I am going to be designing my own uh, extruder systems here. So I'm going to be machining those things out. Um, more, more of like a high flow one, maybe add a, either a brass or a copper or like a longer, like a, a longer melt zone, maybe water cooled. I'm not sure, but that is in the works. I'm already designing this stuff already. Um, yeah, everything works. Like I said, it's uh, I'm actually not running the CAN bus. I'm running the uh, USB, so the USB feeds back up to the uh, Raspberry Pi there. Um, just because I thought that was simpler, because I'd have to get a new main board or like a CAN bus adapter. So this is just a lot simpler. And that's the uh, air in the back here. The fan feeds up into the clean ducts. All right, cool. Having fun, man. That's a cool, fun project. It takes me a while. I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't show you my fail box. I have a lot of young people that watch my channel. So. This is just kind of let you know that you're not going to get it on the first shot. <laughs> um, you know, look how many fails I have here. If you fail, you try harder. All right, so in the next segment, um, I'm going to be working on the uh, bed here. These go up here. So I, originally, I did, well, I'm going to probably go uh, single with some rods here, like that. That's my idea. Was to do some rods. Have some 10 millimeter belts, um, double motor, and then I might go quad. Eventually, I might go quad, quad motor. Um, yeah, because it's not going to be very hard if I switch from a rod to. I have to get a different main board, but to go from a rod and just have four motors that run this up and down. But I have to get some kind of pivot system. But here is my adjuster bracket. So, see that right there? This, these are like army time uh, tensioners, belt tensioners. So yeah, I originally had thought I was going to do quad level mount, quad uh, quad mounting, or excuse me, quad leveling. That's why I uh, did quad linear rails here. Um, yeah, I mean, you guess you could do. I mean, I, I mean, like a rat rig with the three point. I guess you could do everything in three point. Um, all right, cool. I'm not going to put this in Thingiverse until I'm totally done with it and I have everything dialed in. So, um, but yeah. All right, having fun, man.